Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have a pretty exciting box to show you guys today. So it's not makeup related, it's not Disney related, but it's related to the other thing that I just love and that's food. So let me show you this new monthly box that I've just signed up for and this is my first one and I'm super excited. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> So this box is kind of a mess. It came squashed up and um, I'm gonna send pictures to the company because that is definitely UPS's fault and not the company's fault, but come on UPS, like this is rough. And basically this is a company called XO Marshmallows and they make gourmet marshmallow flavors. So I want to tell you a little bit about how I got into this because being part of the beauty space or being part of the beauty community, I know that Jen Loves Reviews has just started making gourmet marshmallows and I don't want people to think that that's kind of where I got interested and then I, I found somewhere else. So what actually happened was I found this company by looking for an advent calendar. My husband is from England and we do advent calendars every year. And I think that it's been bigger in England than it is here and it is starting to catch up. And now it is getting easier and better to find advent calendars here. But in my researching for an advent calendar, I found a marshmallow one in the UK only that I was like, uh, this looks so good. But it was in the UK shipping only. So I ended up going with a different advent calendar. Um, but I then later found out that there was one in the U.S. that I missed. So I'm super disappointed for the marshmallows, but I am going to try that one next year because it looks amazing. And it's this company called Exo Marshmallow. And they are a small gourmet marshmallow company located in Chicago, Illinois. And when I started doing more research about them, I just really loved their, their business and, and what they had and what they stood for. So I actually did place an order last month. I got a couple of marshmallows that were in the monthly, monthly club that I, I, I missed. This is Byron. He's following the smell of the marshmallows. Um, but I missed the sign up for last month. So I went ahead and ordered some individual ones and I didn't do a review or anything because it wasn't the official monthly club. So this is the first time I've gotten the official monthly club, but I will tell you last month, having tried them, they were amazing. So I'm loving the marshmallow game for a couple of reasons. One, it's a nice little treat that I can have without feeling like I'm overindulging in too many sweets. So I have one or two every night after dinner and it, it seems pretty amazing. The other thing is, and I know when I watched Jen Loves Reviews video on her, or Jen Loves video on her marshmallow company, which I think is very exciting. She did mention that right now she's not exclusively gluten-free, even if she could ship to me, which she can't because I am not located in Maryland, but I am gluten-free. Um, so this company is also gluten-free. So that kind of opened a door for this. And like I said, I'd already found this company when Jen put her video out. So I think marshmallow is like growing in all the rage. I'm pretty excited about it. But... I like it, like I said, because it is gluten-free. So, a little bit about this box. It is about $30 a month. I can't remember if it's $29.99 or $25.99. I'll put that on the screen, but it is about that amount. And you get two 12-piece boxes of marshmallows. And then you get a bonus item based on the theme. So, everything in here is kind of a mess. I'm going to tell you... I do know what the marshmallows are. That spoiler is ruined, and that's because I had to see what damage UPS had done in this box. So I do not know about the bonus item. However, I saw it, but I didn't get it out, and I didn't look at it. It looked undamaged. So the thing for this month is I am grateful for. And so they send you a card, and they give you Byron. You cannot have the marshmallows. They tell you a little bit about the two marshmallows that you got and the bonus item. So obviously this is geared towards Thanksgiving coming up. I can't believe this when I'm filming this and when this is going live. It's not even, not even Halloween yet. And we're already talking about Thanksgiving. My gosh, where the time is going. But that's exciting. Um, so that gives you a little bit of information about the two marshmallows that you got. So here's what we got. I got my coffee here in my Elsa mug. Delicious. And... I have my kitchen blowtorch. Um, please do not try this at home, but I do not have a little marshmallow fondue station, and honestly, this works pretty good. So, one thing that I want to make sure that when I do these monthly unboxings with you guys, hopefully you'll enjoy watching this and you'll want to see more. But one thing I do want to make sure is that I eat and taste the product because I've said this before in a video. I hate it when somebody gets a box and there's a yummy looking snack in there and they're like, oh, that looks really good. I'll try that later. No, please try it now because I love to live vicariously through people who are eating wonderful foods. So I will try these marshmallows for you. 
All right, so let me go ahead and unwrap the bonus item. So you do get a bonus item. And it is very interesting. And my dogs are going, you're going to have to get down. My dogs are going insane for the bonus item. I don't know. Actually, it does kind of smell it's like something. These are, are these like actual pressed things? I think they are like dried things. Okay, so here is the bonus item. And it is obviously um, a little decoration, I think. It's very interesting and very unusual. And I'm so glad that UPS did not destroy this as well. So how very interesting, right? Like that's very interesting. And they send different things. I think last month the bonus item was like a bath product or something. So you never know what you're going to get. But about this, this says... B Collective is a woman-owned modern plant plus flower shop located in beautiful Lakeview, Chicago, offering an electric range of gifts for all. You're going to have to sit down if you sit up here. You cannot eat the marshmallows. Um, there... <laughs> He's loving the smell of that. Their mission is to inject love and light into the community by providing a warm and beautiful haven that welcomes everyone in like family. So is there a name for something like this? I am not like into home decor enough to know like what you would call this. It's more than like a little centerpiece. Like it's obviously like a little, what is this? <laughs> it really, it has this very fall fragrancy scent to it and it's very unusual and it's honestly very pretty like it really is very pretty are these little feathers like i just don't know what all of these elements are but i'm so glad ups didn't ruin this so i'm gonna hang this up because i think it's very cute but is, does this have a name what is this called and what do you think of this all right so let's talk about marshmallows i am gonna put my dogs outside because they're not gonna let me eat in peace so let's get rid of them okay I did not think this would be a complicated video to film. All right, so let me show you the two different kinds of marshmallows because that's why we're all here. We're here for the marshmallows. And again, the boxes, guys, like I said, I, I'm taking pictures and I'm sending to the company so that they can let UPS know this is totally uncool. But I think they're still edible. So you get a pumpkin spice and this looks delicious. I think this is like something that they have talked about on their Instagram. So I don't think it's a brand new, like unreleased flavor, but I think this one is, and this is the pecan, 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 depending on where you're from, pie. So it is weird actually. Do you say pecan or pecan? So I always say pecan pie, but I talk about pecans when I just want pecan. So it's kind of changes in context, which is weird. Um, all right. So that, I think, is the one that is kind of new for right now. So, I guess let's try the pumpkin spice first. I am going to light her up and see how these taste and smoke and everything like that. Like I said, I did get some last month. Their flavors were cookies and cream and red hots. And I could not decide which one I liked better. Some days it was a red hot. Some days it was a cookie and cream. Um, but they did torch really nicely. So, these are very, very soft. They are not sticky. I don't know if you've ever given gourmet marshmallows a try, but, oh gosh, that smells so good. Oh, that smells like fall, but they're very, very, very soft, not sticky on the outside, which is really nice because they don't make a mess. So I'm going to <laughs> spear this. Is this uh, the strangest thing I've ever done on my YouTube channel? Possibly. And we are going to give this a little melt. Again, don't try this at home if you are unfamiliar with blowtorch. But I just want to show you like how nice, like look how nice that browns. We're going to do all sides. And yes, this is overkill for a marshmallow. But I'm one of those people that like my marshmallows, if I'm roasting marshmallows, I like to set them on fire and then blow them out. Like the crispier the outside is, the more I like them. That's just me. You do you. All right. So this, this turned out really, really, really nice. I've got a nice brown coating on there so let this cool for a second all right i think it's ready mm. all right bottoms up mm. 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 so so good mm. that tastes like pumpkin pie mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm going on and on. It's so rich. And it's so delicious. And that's what I mean. Like, you can have two of these or even one of these after dinner. And you feel like you've really had a nice little way to nightcap off the dinner. So, I don't eat a lot of chocolate and stuff like that. But this is something. And, you know, every once in a while I get like a, an, 
a hunger for cookies and I'll buy some partake cookies, which I love and strongly recommend. But I love the marshmallow. The marshmallow is light. It's easy. It's not super crazy heavy. And I mean, these, for example, three of these 100 calories. So I just had one. So it's really a nice little treat and it feels like a lot more than it is. All right. So let me stop yammering on and let me try the pecan pie, which I am Actually, I just said pecan, didn't I? I said a pecan pie. Yeah, I think that's the way I say it. Pecan pie, but pecans. Would you like some pecans? Yeah, I think that is the way I say it. In other words, I don't even know the way I say it. All right, so this one I think is their monthly special, which I think changes every month. That's really nice. And just to give you a little bit of information about the value of these boxes if you bought these marshmallows individually as i did last month they would be 9.95 a piece for 12 so the box is about 30 dollars. so you would pay 20 dollars, and it's about five ish so shipping so essentially the box includes shipping your two marshmallows and the bonus item so i guess you have to decide if you think the bonus item is worth the five dollars on top of everything else that you pay um if all things are considered equal and since this is my very first time getting one, it's hard to say. Does not have a smell. Does not smell like pecan pie right away. Let's torch it. This one is browning though really nicely. Yeah, really, really, really nicely. This is definitely like the biggest waste of gas for a kitchen torch that there has ever been. That's okay. All right, so we have it all nice and browned and I could go even more, but this one is a melty guy. This one is melting. So I don't think it's got a lot of time. So let's go right in. Mmm. Mm. How do I do that? Okay. Mm. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 tasting the most like pecan pie you could possibly get without eating a pecan pie, and 1 just having the tiniest hint of something that's supposed to be pecan pie, or pecan pie, <laughs> I've confused myself to death now. That's about a 20 on that scale. It tastes so much like pecan pie that I literally, even like in the back of the throat where like your, your taste buds, you know how you get like that hit of flavor back there. It still feels like I have just eaten a, a whole slice of pecan pie. Like it is so good and rich in the flavor. So these are the best darn marshmallows I've ever had and they're amazing. And that's going to be a delicious treat for me for the month of November. All right. So that is my first XO marshmallow marshmallow of the month club. It is so nice. I really like it a lot. I think it's going to be a really nice treat to keep me from overindulging in holiday treats, which are going to be the plethora of cornucopia of this season. Mm, I'm still tasting that. It's so good. All right, guys. So that is it for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you are a marshmallow fan, if you've tried this box before or, you know, what you're, you're thinking about this whole gourmet marshmallow thing that seems to be happening right now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hope everybody's doing great. And happy Halloween this weekend. Bye.